Hi everyone, today we will study about microscope. Before we start our study today, we have to understand the aim of the study. So the aim of the study is to determine the microscopic diameter of the object and numerical aperture. For this slide, you will understand the figure of the microscope. The microscope consists of body tube, arm, stud, base, lens, and so on. So the basic theory for the numerical aperture is the quantity that describes the ability to concentrate light and the sharpness or angular resolution of a microscope. So the formula of the microscope you can see and read in this slide. Look at that. Move to the experiment procedure I will show you by using the video. Please pay attention to this video. This is the equipment that we have in laboratory. So first, we have the micrometer object and ocular. And then we have two microscope here. And then we have a caliper. This is the caliper. And also, we have the wooden block with the scale and string. And we have a block sample here. Please be careful because this is inside the glass. Okay, for the first process, how to measure the diameter of the microscope? First, turn on the microscope. You will see the light inside the microscope and then take the micrometer object put the micrometer object in the microscope after you put the micrometer object in the microscope move to the lens of the microscope you have to adjust the microscope and make sure that the light can Go to the microscope uh, clearly. Adjust the microscope and then you will get the clear focus of the micrometer object. You can uh, change the magnification of the lens to get clearly image of the micrometer object. Do this process carefully. And then after you get the clear image, take out the micrometer object and return to the original box. And don't forget, return to the storage. After that, take the plot sample and put the plot sample in the microscope. By using this process, you will get the clear image of the blood sample. This is the clear image of the blood sample. You can see there are many circular inside the blood sample. You have to choose four or more to measure the diameter. After you finish uh, the first process, and then take out the blood sample and return to the storage carefully. After that, we will move to the second process. Okay, for the second process is to determine the numerical aperture. First, take the wooden block with the scale and string. Put the wooden block with the scale and string under the lens of the microscope and then look to the lens clearly you have to get the clear image this is the clear image of the wooden block and scale after that 
by using the caliper you have to measure the distance okay this is the process to measure the distance by using caliper inside the wooden block like that after you get the distance don't forget to lock the caliper and return the wooden block and you have to read the scale of the caliper i remind you in the last semester you have learned how to read uh, the caliper okay this process you have to uh, measure four or more data and then after that put your result in the working sheet this is the sample of the working sheet for the first process to determine the microscopic diameter you can uh, write for data or more and then you can write in the working sheet This slide informs to you about the working sheet for the second process. The second process is to determine the numerical aperture. So you can uh, write for data or more and then you can place your data in this uh, working sheet. Hope you success for this process. Before I close this session, I remind you about the tasks of this study. There are two tasks that you have to do and you have to put in your report. Good luck and do the best for this study. Thank you.